Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here, and I've just spent the past couple hours filling up this fish tank, but not with fish or water. I've filled it with thousands of these little water polymer beads. They're super absorbent, and they absorb like 200 times their weight in water. Today, we're gonna be pouring molten aluminum in a minute. So I got these from vat19.com, and they don't look like much when you first get them. But once you add them to water, and you let them soak for about four hours, they absorb over 200 times their weight in water, and they become almost perfectly see-through and pretty bouncy too. I'm gonna need more than a couple little baggies to fill up that giant fish tank, so I bought three pounds bulk, and after carefully measuring it out, I mix them in a large storage container so I don't kick up too much sand in the fish tank. After a few hours, the beads are totally hydrated, so I transfer them to a fish tank and I add acrylic sheets to each side to protect glass from molten aluminum. So what do you think is gonna happen? Disregarding all safety warnings, I decided to fire up the forge anyway. It only takes about 15 minutes to melt a couple pounds of the aluminum, and once it's glowing red hot, it's time to pour it into the fish tank. And yes, I finally caved in and I bought a face mask to appease the safety crybabies on this channel. I should have bought a face mask for my camera instead because that aluminum went down way farther than I thought, and I think I might have broken my camera. I don't know if you can tell this, but I just missed that GoPro. Well, the aluminum gods have smiled upon me once again, and my camera gets to see another day. Alright, so here it is. This is the outcome of that first pour, and look at that. This thing looks totally, this thing is incredible. Anyway, this is the first one that came out. It looks super cool, and the sun's going down, and I only have a little bit more time, so I'm gonna make some more. I did this six more times and each one came out cooler than the last. I made them in all sizes, from small little babies to giant monsters that completely filled the fish tank. And because the way that the aluminum snakes through these water beads, it guarantees no two will ever be the same. This is the last pour for the day and those beads have pretty much had it. They're starting to break down from the heat and releasing a chemical that's not very friendly to my eyes. All right guys, I did this seven more times and this is everything I got. And each of them are totally unique. They're all just their own complete work of art. I think that these, these are just super cool. They look like, like coral, I don't know. I just think that this is so cool. Now these do look pretty cool standing alone all by themselves, but I think I can put them to better use. So there's a ton of cool things to do with these. You can display them as a sculpture, you can use it as a piece of coral in an aquarium, or you can add a cool, unique accent to your garden. No matter what you do with them, these things are awesome. So if you like this video and you like molten aluminum stuff, I've got a whole playlist full of molten aluminum. And if you just wanna see some crazy other random mad science, I've got a playlist for that too. And if you liked any of these videos, go ahead and press that subscribe button. I also have a pretty active Facebook page where I do giveaways, you can send me messages, and I post behind the scenes footage. So go ahead and like that too. Now I'm gonna need a lot more than just a couple... Freaking helicopter, hold on. All right, I'm gonna need a lot more than just a couple little packets to fill up this giant fish tank. So I got this, 15... So they're pretty cool. All you need to do is sprinkle a little bit in a bowl and then add some water. In no time, in about four hours, these beads will to In about four or five hours, these balls will expand to like a hundred times their size and they're 99% water by mass. So I don't think the aluminum will destroy them too much. It as a potting medium for plants or using it as an absorbent in diapers for babies, and astronauts. Got a bunch of cool things to do with this. You can transform an old broken. So there's a ton of cool things to do with these. You can either. Green guy keeps getting stuck. Be free, free Willy. 